Hi everyone, welcome to Mamaka Boy uh, Red 13 or, or 12, wait, 13? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, wait, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, I read 12, I thought 13, okay, but I was wrong, I only read 12. So, I read A Man and His Cat, Volume 5, I cried, I don't cry at manga. I love cats. I have two beautiful black cats. You've seen their butts. You know what they look like. They're cuties. They look kind of like this guy, but a little less shaggy, a little less big. They look like this. So, little guys. They're little kitty cats. Uh, but very good. We find out Pokimaru. He's on the hunt trying to find this lost kitty cat. Oh, it's just so sad. It's really... Look at this. Look at that. Sad. Sad. But great. Excellent storytelling. I loved it. My girlfriend didn't like it as much, but I really enjoyed it quite a lot. This, I don't mean to say she doesn't like this manga. I'm just saying she didn't cry. She just cried on all the other volumes. I think I saw her tear in this one. But to me, this one was probably the saddest one or most emotional. If you have a cat and you don't have this volume, you need to reevaluate your life choices. Okay, you need to get this book. If you have interest in cat, you get this book too, okay? You get this book. Great book. I know it sounds so boring at the top, but I swear it's really good. Speaking of cat, my boy's here. My son, he's watching us. I hope he's okay watching this adult theme because World's Finest Assassin Volume 2. It's kind of brutal, okay? I was happy to get this in because I, well, obviously I'm not getting too much in in terms of pre-orders right now. I'll put up a video on that. And cry to you guys about that a little bit more later in the week, I think. You got a very cool color art. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty good volume. We continue our life as a merchant, um, living as the merchant's son, quote unquote. We also find out a coup on his friend, and so we have to figure out how we're going to stop that. Enjoyable stuff. Not a lot of action in this volume. Not a lot goes on, but I did really like Volume 1. I'm glad Volume 1 started the way it did, because if it started here, I would probably be less about it. But this is still worthwhile read. Definitely excited to see what happens in 3, because we introduced this guy at the end, who looks to be a great villain or foil or antagonist for the main character. I didn't ever flip these. So let me flip these real quick, so that way I can go through these and make a little bit more sense. Otherwise, everything will be backwards because I don't know if I've ever explained this to you guys, but uh, when I finish reading them, I put them on top of my pile upside down. So that way when I do my reading logs, I can like go down it. But in an instance like this where I forgot to flip it, well, we started at the top. <laughs> Rave Master, Volume 9. Look at that. That's Gale Glory. That's Haru's dad. And Haru versus King, or Haru versus, or Haru. <laughs> Gale versus Gale versus Haru is an epic fight that occurs in this volume. We get to see the Decafold sword. I forget what it's exactly called. Essentially the anti-Rave Master sword versus the Rave Master sword versus Haru's dad. Uh, epic fight. I really enjoy it. We also get a resolve of the uh, other guardians they fight as well. Rave Master, I'm not sure if I hit this point home quite yet by Volume 10, but it's a series where I really enjoy it, and I think that you guys need to read it if you're fans of Fairy Tale. This next few volumes here starts up our little introduction or intermission arc. We come across the Jiggle Butt Gang. They're a bunch of bad guys with jiggly butts, and they try to rob a train. But who do they find but our main characters, and so they can't do that. They also, you know, come across a lot of stuff. That t but I think that time they were actually robbing an airplane. So, you know, they just can't catch a break. They rob a train, they rob an airplane, they rob a casino. No good. They, they mess up everywhere. We also come across Ruby, this little penguin here. He refuses to give his dad's money to gosh darn criminals because that's what his dad would do. <laughs> and that's probably a good thing to look by because, uh, well, why would you want to give, why would you want to give your money to criminals? They steal it. They gotta earn it. They want my money. If you want my money, you goddamn criminal, you gotta earn it and steal from me fair and square. Okay, Blue? That's just my personal opinion. And here we get a little bit more onto Let's backstory with the Dragon Master. You guys might have caught that, that there's a Dragon Master and Let, and Let does not look like a dragon. Well, they do explain that 
in here, and I don't really want to spoil too much, but essentially dragons can either become humans or they can become dragons, depending on how well they can control their dragon half. And if you don't control your dragon half well, well, then that's what happens to you. We also learn more about um, Ellie and this guy here, the son of King. Very cool. We also explore more of Symphonia and um, Rare Groove. I think that's what it's called. Uh, and the bloodline there. Very interesting stuff. It's interesting to see Haru and King Sun start to kind of go down the same path Haru did. However, King Sun is an effing animal. He's a beast. And he has the origin of Dark Ring, just like Haru has the origin of Rave or Light, being Ethereum, uh, Ellie, and as well as uh, Rave itself. So that'll be an exciting clash, but Haru's totally outmatched right now, but he's still slowly mastering Rave. He will stand a chance. I'm pretty pretty sure of that. We have Dragon Quest Monsters Plus. I haven't gotten Die yet, so I decided to do the next best thing and read the only other Dragon Quest title I have here. Okay, so maybe it's not the best thing next to die, okay? It truly isn't. But I will say this, it's very similar to dra uh, to Pokemon Adventures. I haven't said Dragon Quest. <laughs> of course it's similar to Dragon Quest, right? Uh, so if you guys ever played this game, Dragon Quest Monsters or Dragon Hero, Dragon Warriors Monsters, uh, Terra, Kobe, and then one, this is that series um, sequel, okay? So Dragon, Dragon Warriors or Dragon Quest Monsters has volume, er, Game 1, they came on the Game Boy, remade for the 3DS. I haven't played the remix yet. I really need to, because I love that game. They also have Joker. Haven't played those either. I don't know if they're any good. 3DS slash DS graphics look kind of iffy, but I am a huge fan of the DS, so maybe I like it, maybe I won't. I don't know. Anyways, this comes out before Dragon Quest or Dragon Warriors here Monsters 2. So this is supposed to fill kind of that gap. Uh, not that the, there's a huge chronological gap in Dragon quest monsters uh but fun little story about taming monsters and saving the world following terry um and this kind of actually shows terry going bad and he controls the demon lord there dragon lord and well you guys know this guy if you've ever played dragon quest before that's the main character from dragon quest one the warrior of light or the hero i think the warrior of light is more of um you know uh what's its name <laughs> final fantasy than it is dragon quest but you can see here the art's pretty nice. Our main character is trying to make the best monster team possible. He's got one of Terry's old monsters, and he's trying to figure out why Terry is doing what he's doing. He comes across some fun little characters along the way, and it's been a pretty good time so far. We also get to see Dark Synthesis and, uh, you know, get wrecked by fake imposter. The dr real Dragon Lord is not to be trifled with, so that was really cool. Uh, that we get the hero right here from Dragon Quest 1 show up, which I think this is the only form of him in manga, at least that's ever gone in English. So I thought that was really nice, uh, nice as well. I really do enjoy this series, but it is, it's really not anything like Dragon Quest Adventures of Die or, uh, anything super quality. It's just good. Um, you know, like I was saying, it's very similar to Pokemon The Adventures. Uh, the uh, Masters or Perfect Editions, what Collector's Edition, that's what they're called, that came out earlier uh, last year. One through ten volumes, you know, Chronicling, Red, Blue, Yellow, uh, Gold, Silver, Fire, Red, Leaf, Green, <laughs> Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald. Those, those series, okay? It's very similar kind of style to that. Time Stop Hero. I'll be honest with you guys, I got this a long time ago. I thought it would be a cool kind of niche series that really not many people would enjoy besides me. I was wrong. This is a kind of uh, 3D-ish. I don't know how I could show this with making sense. That kind of looks like I can, right? It's got some depth to it. You know, you can feel it popping out. I can't show you guys too many pages of this. Uh, there's a lot of, of, of naked women in it. The main character gets canceled on Twitter. Uh, once he gets canceled on Twitter, he then <laughs> dies. <laughs> and once he's dead, he has to save the world before the timer comes down. He actually got hit by a... Uh, he, I think he committed suicide. He says that he's screwed and he doesn't want to be here anymore. And then when that thought crosses his mind, he found himself in the strange world. So maybe he killed himself. I'm not sure. They don't elaborate too much further on that. They pass that. Anyways, he's got to uh, save the world before the timer clicks down to zero. He has the ability to stop time. And so he does so by pressing start on this little controller thing that I don't have a picture of right here. But it looks like a Famicom controller. And he presses start and it pauses the world. 
the timer pauses as well and he can train do whatever he needs to there it is for you guys and a lot of the times what he does is he just flips girls skirts and drops down their dresses you can guess what he does to this girl because he does do it uh somehow this is not a ghost ship title i would have been like knowing that this was a that kind of a title if it said ghost ship there uh but that is a seven seas title somehow uh very good though i, I do enjoy it it's interesting to see a, a series be so blatant about being against PC culture since uh, you see media these days being so pro it. So to see this uh, kind of say, yeah, this guy got canceled on Twitter. He's the hero. Good luck. <laughs> and he's got, like kind of a scumbag. You know, it's, it's kind of a fresh breath. Of, it's a breath of fresh air. You guys can see my cat's tail maybe. See, there you go. Um, so I, I am enjoying that actually quite a bit. I do feel like the fan service is a little gratuitous. I'm not a big fan service guy. I really don't like harems or or anything really like that. Uh, it's not my thing. But if it is yours, definitely pick this up. You would really enjoy it. Oh, my son, he wants the attention. Oh, you want to kiss his oh, my baby boy. Come on now. Daddy's got his work to be doing here. Oh, okay. Let's talk about our next volume here, Sebastian the Cat. Here he is in all of his glory. You can see how shiny his coat is. Uh, he's a great read. If you guys can get your hand on this limited... Okay, John. Even for me, it's difficult to get my hands on it. Not all bookstores sell him. Robot X Laser Beam, Volume 3. Uh, so this continues on the journey of Robo in his wanting to be a golfer to beat his friend that he met once at a competition and he tied to but he felt like he didn't win slash tie he felt like he needs to get a true win on him so he's practicing and he's trying to beat the record so he can become a regular however he gets challenged to a golfing match and he sucks <laughs> so he is much better than where he was but he's slowly working his way up the ranks to get better at golf uh again seeming like very difficult for him to become a regular very cool little golfing course map there it reminds me of like mario golf or something like that it wasn't a very good game that came out recently uh, but yeah the art in here is very good i'm getting more involved in the story interested to see how uh, robo is going to become beast he really doesn't know how to give himself any breaks so he passes out all the time it's too bad but it uh, makes for an interesting read, I gotta say that. This guy's Rich AF. He is not good enough to become pro quite yet, but he's still a very good golfer. Very cool guy. Yeah, he's kind of a sleazebag, but fun to fun to read about. Sunny, Volume 5. Okay. Uh, so this is by Taiyo Matsumoto. I gotta say, I'm not sure what to make of this at the end. It's just a bunch of stories that I felt like were cool. We get some escape convicts here, and our convicts are, of course, the children that was interesting this isn't a bad story by any means it just doesn't seem to have a point and that would be fine except it's only like a six volume series so it's like a limited run and so i feel like that's really short for something that that's not trying to set up to have a point but it kind of doesn't some of the kids get split up towards the end but it doesn't show you what happens to them the only one it shows you is haru haruo but like uh <sighs> not really too much else they just say what happens to him it's really a fast wrap-up i i wonder if it got canceled or something like that i would recommend reading this uh for sure just because it is like a nice read and you know it's definitely not for everybody but i did enjoy it it's just what was the point there was no plot and i mean that's fine for some stuff but it seemed like it was gonna go somewhere like Haru was going to slowly become an adult and these people were going to slowly grow up and we we're going to see what became of them but we don't and well that that disappointed me <laughs> i mean it's fine a good read i would still recommend you read it i just wanted to know what what happened to these people because i, I see them more involved in their life and you don't even see them grow up and i'm like why how would you do this Anyways, that's what I read this week. What did you all read this week? Did you read something good that I should read? You should let me know in the comments down below. I am still reading through Rave Master, though. It's quite a journey. I know I need to read Black Clover. I know I need to read Twin Star Exorcist. I can see your comment. You know who you are. You comment all the, you comment all this fun stuff that I wish I was reading that I'm not reading right now, but it's on my file. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. I'm going to get to it. 
Um, but definitely let me know what you guys are reading. It's always fun to see cool things that aren't on my radar that need to be on my radar. Uh, it's also fun to see things to look forward to as I get towards my uh, TBR and I slowly dwindle it down. Since Red Stuff doesn't send me packages, you know, it does give me time to chip away at that TBR at least. All right, see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,